Second episode of the day and you will remember I made an episode talking about this church pastor who had had a fight with some cultists. They wanted to bury one particular church member who was at his church and he wanted to bury the person but, not, but now the person was part of the cult and these guys wanted to and they ended up burning the church. If you can remember that particular episode, this is an update for that particular episode and I'm gonna tell you this story is a little bit wild. <laughs> <laughs> this story is a little bit wild. We see a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but here, this is out straight wild. On that particular episode, I was kind of looking for this particular pastor's face. I wanted at least put a face of the pastor. People have an idea of what we are talking about. And so I couldn't find the picture at first. So I kept looking until I stumbled on a particular post by a young man who had printed a shirt, he's too young, I'm not gonna show his face, and he had this caption there, and he had uh, this pastor's thing, and I was like a bit confused, like what's going on? So this church looks like it's a cult itself. It, <laughs> it looks like it's a Christian cult. I was like, okay, wait, what's going on here? So I looked a little bit more further, into it and so you can see in that grouping of pictures there you can see the picture of the church burning and stuff like that it's right inside there so i was like okay so this looks like this is where uh, i'm in the right place so i'm searching for the right thing and if you actually search like for instance this particular post posted by this particular individual here, it looks like it was a whatsapp status you can see here my lord overtuned christ so if you if you read the particular post or what the picture says it says on the 3rd of february 2014 the the mighty angel entered into me uh, this particular gentleman which was the pastor there uh, since then the words you hear are not my own but his so he's literally claiming that he is some angel some mighty angel or something like that this particular gentleman that i'm showing right now is the one that had the most about this particular church and so i did kind of have to go there because i kept noticing some very weird and strange captions on the pictures area and that's where you kind of see a lot of posts like for instance i did see one particular post i think it was this one here i don't need prophet today this day and age where can i prophesy is very popular i have the one who sent all prophets the man greater than william brennan <laughs> <laughs> he's now here. he's now here i i will leave that one for you <laughs> on another particular picture he says god manifested himself again in human flesh kind of like an image that they use there you can see kind of like a triangle illuminati thing going on there but you know they have the green white and mm -hmm, and yellow you know like zcc kind of a thing uh but they have the the headstone prophetic ministry international you are very local <laughs> and they quote a verse right above right above the the, the pyramid it's fair uh, it's revelation chapter number eight verse one if you read revelation eight verse one it doesn't sound like it doesn't say anything like it's not like one of those you know i lift up my eyes into the hills you know? i don't know what the significance of that verse is to them this is the gentleman here uh, our messenger confuse myself and another thing i've noticed there's this thing where when they're next to him you know they are very very bowish they do this thing of him walking like jesus walking into jerusalem where they lay clothes down and they will be like jubilating jubilating the angel just recently entered him you know just yesterday <laughs> 2014 ah you know it's it's not he wasn't born with it no just entered him now <laughs> how do we know that it's a godly <laughs> thing how do you know the teaching does it make sense the teaching of what is being taught now it makes sense why that member thought it was wise for him to join a cult and be a member of a church it's the reality show we do daily christian commentary videos other videos that will be down in the pinned comments uh, this was just one of those funny things that I found after the fact. It's Ricky. I'll see you later. Check the pinned comments. Salute.